gorgeous peeps. How y'all doing? I hope you're doing well. Well, this video is going to be a rather quick video because it is a lunch menu. Something really quick and easy. However, before we even get into the video, Katrina is upset with me. I'm not upset with you. I just feel uncomfortable. With she the feels uncomfortable. And the reason she feels uncomfortable is because I have put my little jewel on. Now, as far as I am concerned, it was put on as a fashion accessory. I know, but where you uh, placed it yes. is problematic for me. Okay, it's problematic for her, and she will tell you why. Now, um, I've just come back from Pride where everybody was adorned in all sorts of different jewels. And I've always worn bindis. Always worn them. But However, why have you worn them, Mum? As a fashion accessory. Exactly, and that's why I have a problem with. Fine. <laughs> and, and also because I just think they look dead cute. I um, love them. Okay. However, oh, wow. Katrina has said that it is offensive. No, now, the no, no, one no. Thing, yes, no, she did. no, no, no. I didn't say it's offensive. I said some people could be offended by it and they're well within their rights to be offended exactly. by it. Exactly. And I and said therefore, to you... it's best to err on the side of caution and not do it. Right. Because it's problematic. And I said to you, well, I have never, ever heard of anyone being offended by mm. a bindi. Now, she says that they have been. Of course they have been. Well, I didn't hear about it. So, I, on a personal level, would never go out of my way. I know you would to outwardly offend someone. I know someone. you would, which is why I've told you, so put more jewels on or take it off. Well, I ain't taking it off. Well, then so just put more on I'll and put place them around on. your face. I just don't want it just in that one place. Over, across your eyebrows, honestly. Thank you. Now you just look like you got measles. <laughs> Much better. I'm not offending nobody. Much better. That is not my intention. I know it's not, Mum, but I just think after this video you should read into why. You How's know. that? You look great. <laughs> you look like a jeweled Mr. Blobby. <laughs> so, forget the bindi. It's, it's all not about a bindi. the jewels. It's, face it's my facial jewels. Thank you. I just feel a lot better. So, about do you that. feel better? I do. So Honestly, I just felt this? really uncomfortable, Mum, and I just wasn't prepared to. Yeah. She wouldn't feel. Not say anything. Huh? I wasn't prepared to not say anything. Okay, so, guys, this is how we roll. This is how we roll. We have opinions. We do. We like to express them. We do. And then we try and come to a happy medium. We do. So, the only happy medium I want y'all to come to is press that button, please, and subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to this dotted woman. This woman adorned with her jewels. Okay, welcome. Okay, so we got that all out of the way. Subscribe. Guess what, people? We are so close to hitting 100,000. I mean, it's just... Oh, God, I feel good. I feel so good about it. But I thought I need to step outside of my comfort zone, okay? Um, because this, I'm going to do a dish that I tell myself I don't like. But that don't mean that I don't like it. <laughs> If you know what I mean. Well, a lot time. of times, no, a lot of times kids you'll say, "Eat that nigga." I don't like it. And sometimes it's because they've never tried it, or they tried it once and it just didn't agree with them. So they don't want. Well, this I have tried before, and and I can't even say it's a texture because I love all sorts of different textures. I think maybe I might have had a bad batch, or I just can't be bothered sitting there taking them out of the shelves. Too much <laughs> like work. If I'm eating, I don't want to be working. So what I found is, have a look at these. These are mussels. <clears throat> They're pre-cooked. They were frozen. Mm -hmm. So if you get the frozen ones, they are already pre-cooked. So you ain't got to worry about dying. <laughs> <coughs> dying? Well, wow, Mom. Well, you know, with, with mussels, sometimes, you know. I think you get sick. I'm not entirely sure unless you have a deathly allergy to them. Okay, all right. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do us some creamy garlic mushrooms, Ooh, which we're going to eat with some garlic bread and a fresh salad, okay? Just something really simple. So the very first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in my pan, and then I am going to chop up, I've got one onion chopped, but I'm going to put a little bit more, just get me one more onion. So we just want to dice up uh, an onion. Now, have you guys noticed something? No, I'll tell you. I'm going to point it out to you in a minute. Don't say nothing, Katrina. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. So, I 
got this love dust baby you know love dust baby yeah and guess what that's what my apron says so you too can have a mama cherry love dust baby yeah apron my goodness doing it in denim now okay <laughs> so take some love dust let's just get it into the pan mix it around get all those lovely flavors out and then to the pan you want to take your onions and I'm adding some red peppers to it okay switch it about look at that can you guys see how it takes on all of that love dust so we just want to let that cook right now um, until it's just the onions have softened down okay there's not much to this recipe I'm also going to add some chopped garlic and I'm cheating I'm using I love, I love that stuff. I love it because it's, so, it's easy. Just so easy. And also, sometimes and you, yeah, you, you get a clove and then you, you, you peel more than you need, or yeah, and then you, and you go waste off. it. You yeah. waste it. So I find this lazy garlic, as I call it, and great. Just get the right amount that you need. Put it back in the freezer. Okay, so I've got my garlic in there. Let that cook down. Now while that's cooking. We're also going to add some celery and get the celery to soften down. Can you eat celery? Yeah. Do I need to peel it? Yeah. Is it, is it the... Is if, it you, the if you peel it, it's much better for me to eat. Thank okay. you. Okay. All right. So let me just peel some of this down. Don't okay. feel like you have to peel it at home. You don't have to. It's just that Katrina finds it really difficult to digest certain foods. So we're going to peel it down. Now also... This is one of the ones, if you have, um, this is one of the, like, the seven allergen celery. Oh, is it? Oh, yes, it is. So, if you have an allergy towards celery, obviously, you're not going to use it. And you can ask. What I would do is I would ask your guests first, because it's one of those allergies that people, it's, like, it's in the category of peanuts. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it is. Oh, I had no idea. And that's it. A lot of people don't know that. I honestly did not know that, yeah, yeah. That, aller that celery was a massive allergen. It, it is. Wow. It is. Um, I have to declare it when I do outside catering. Okay. Because I use it in my jambalaya. So it's one of those things that you do need to let people be aware of if you are using it. So let's just get that mixed in. Lovely. Getting it down. And a little bit of sea salt or rock salt, coarse salt, any way you want to call it, it salt. Is it called kosher salt in the States? Yeah. I think so. And then I've got coarse lettuce and what I want to do with this, I'm just going to chop this up. I'm going to put it in the bowl. This was one of my lettuces that was going well off. And you know me, I don't bend it. Ow! I spin it. It is so funny because I went shopping the other day and this lettuce I had um, stuck way back in the fridge. So I moved it to the front and my husband sent me a message. He went, darling, I know you've just been shopping. I think you need to return that lettuce because it's off. <laughs> and I said, it ain't off. It might be trying to leave the house, but it ain't off. All we got to do is peel off the outer leaves and then it's good. And this is good, as you can see. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. And look at this nice. And this tomato, I went into my local supermarket. And I advise you guys to do this as well. Because a lot of supermarkets are doing it now. They're preparing, I know at Littles, they do fruit box. They do veg boxes. So if you go in like on a Monday morning, early, they have boxes. That box that you saw over there, filled for a pound fifty. No. And it had pears. Tomatoes, courgettes, it's just got tons in it. Wow. And this is a really nice tomato yeah. as well. Nothing wrong with it. So we're just going to put this here. Oh, I've got a new salad. We need to do it. We'll do it for the channel. We'll do it for the channel. Yeah. Save it. Yeah, because of, you know how leafy vegetables aren't great for me. So I come up yeah. with an alternative. Okay. Works really well for me. And it's delicious. Okay, so let's get this. Have a look. Yeah, they're ready. And I'm going to put, this here is just a touch of water. I was doing, cooked some okra earlier. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit in just to really get that flavors going. And now we're going to add our mussels. So you add your mussels. 
give them a good stir. Now, to these, I have got, I just found this hot, smoky, chipotle chilies. Ooh. I thought that would be nice. Okay. So, we'll just put a little bit. That's it. And then I've got some coriander. it and then straight to that we're now going to add some sour cream oh yes it's creamy yeah I know but I would have thought no I just would have assumed like fresh like single cream no not sour cream I'm putting some sour cream in okay. mine you know me I always kind of mix do it my up own thing. Give me a uh, paper towel. You can see I'm dripping. <laughs> Eyes are dripping. Oops. Oh, oh, quick. All right, all right. I'm melting. All right, here, take it, take it, take it. I'm melting. <laughs> oh. oh, your jewels are going to Oh, come no, off. my jewels. <laughs> Have I wiped them all away? One of them. Okay, <laughs> let's put a little bit more of this in. And then I have... My lemon. We're going to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I think I might actually like this. Looks great. Okay. So, in the oven. Oh, yeah. How was that perfectly timed? Perfectly timed. Garlic bread. Okay. So, here we go. Yum, yum, yum. Dummy, dum, dum. And that's done. Wow. That is done. So, here we go. Mmm! Get a plate. Plate or a bowl? Is it soupy or is it? Um, soupy, so maybe a bowl. Yeah. So you've got your salad. We've got our fresh salad, which I'm just going to dress with a little bit of olive oil. Some fresh lemon juice. Salt. Touch of love dust, baby. Yeah, fire! Oh my goodness. And then let us take so that looks great, Mom. So we have some mussels with onions, peppers, coriander, fresh cream, whoa, a bit of garlic bread, and then some salad on the side. So, love how's that look? Looks gorgeous, mum. Mm. <laughs> gonna spill it, careful. <laughs> Whoops, here, but, but taste is in. Proof is in the tasting. Proof is in the tasting, so let me take a a muscle, because y'all know I told y'all I'm not into muscles, but I'm going to tell you now. Here we go. It's a tasting. Now, I don't know why in the hell I said I don't like muscles. <laughs> That's jamming. Oh, good. Mm. <laughs> well, you know what? What? Next time I go out, 
never order me some mussels. All right, there's another really great place. Because I really never, ever really nice order mussels. Because I didn't think I liked them. That is good. I have converted myself. <laughs> I'm converted. Ow! Hallelujah! Oh my word. To the mushroom. Mushroom? I mean, to the muscle. Wow, man. They both start with an M. Okay. And they both have a U in them. But. And they both kind of sound One's a the fish same. and one isn't. Yeah, and this look like a mushroom. Okay. <laughs> it's, got <laughs> it's got the flavor. It's got the. That texture of a mushroom. Umami, it's got that kind it's of mushroom delicious. thing. But that is delicious. Oh, well, let me see here. Dip some garlic bread. Yeah, let's try it with a bit of this. Mmm. That is pretty good. Cool. That is pretty good. So, guys, please stick with us. Join me on my journey as we try and hit 100. You know what? I'm hoping that somebody's going to be watching this video in the future and go, she talking about? <laughs> she had a million. <laughs> that would be the day. Oh so, with a little bit of peace, whole lot of love, and some sow from the mama who did not mean to offend nobody. Mama, you didn't offend anybody. What? Oh. I offended you, Katrina. You didn't offend me. I was just saying it made me feel uncomfortable. Well, if you feel what? uncomfortable, no, I you're can offended. No, I can feel uncomfortable without being offended. I wasn't offended. I just did. Just didn't make it feel bleh. It felt a bit icky. Yeah, well, I can't have you icky if you're filming me because I need you to get my good side. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Bye. Peace and love and a lot of sow. From the mama and her muscles, creamy a go go. Bye. Did you like it, cat? You want to try it? Just taste a little piece, real quick. All right, hold on. Because she eats muscles, I love so muscles. she knows. Oh, that's delicious, mom. Is that good? It's really good. For my first attempt, it's really good. Cool. Well done. All right, bye. bye.